What is going on, A1 gang? We're back with another video. Today we got a 2019 Ford Ranger XLT. Now if you guys follow trucks a lot or anything like that, or just the car industry and in, in, as in the whole, you know that Ford has redesigned the Ranger. It just came out for this model year. Uh, they took a, a little short-term absence for a while. And uh, this is a mid-sized pickup truck. Now it competes primarily with the Chevy Colorado, which is another mid-sized pickup truck, and a Toyota Tacoma. Those are really the only ones that's worth uh, noting. And uh, I think Nissan has one too. The I forgot what it's called, um, Frontier or something like that. But um, yeah, those those are the major ones. And then Honda has one, the Ridge Line or whatever it's called. But uh, to me, out of all of them, the best one would be the Tacoma. But uh, you got the Ranger indented into the tailgate right here. Now this model right here does have the 2.3 liter um, four cylinder EcoBoost in it, putting out 270 horsepower. And it also has a 10 speed automatic transmission. So you got the four, four Ranger badge right there with the XLT. This one got the running bars down there, the running board or whatever you want to call it, but it's like more like a bar. It doesn't have the spray-in bed liner, so that's something that you know you can either get from the dealer or have it factory installed in there with the spray liner. But uh, let's get into this sticker price. You guys ain't gonna be able to see this uh, thing right here. So total price of this vehicle is forty thousand four hundred and thirty-five dollars. Now I'm just I'm not gonna mention everything. I'm just gonna hit on things because. That's very boring reading off this stuff, but uh, you got four wheel disc brakes with ABS. You got auto stop start technology. You got the cross traffic alert. You got the curve control. You got the electronic power assist. You got the Ford Connect for the 4G Wi Fi. You got hotspot. You got the hill start assist, the lane keeping system, pre collision, remote start. Well, not remote start, but with the remote keyless entry, reverse camera with the sensing. Um, pretty much all your safety features and you're getting 20 in the city 24 on the highway 22 miles per gallon combined so that's that now like I said that brings your total to $40,435 so we're gonna go ahead and um, start it up and it is cold out here <laughs> just in case y'all ain't know got the hand cooked tires right there Let's go ahead and start up. This is the key right here too, by the way. You also get a little, you know, that, the little switchblade key. It should have push button start, but we gonna get in and see. Um, if you saw the Ford um, F-150 review, it has the same key. All of the big Ford trucks and trucks in general have the same key just about. Let's give y'all this exhaust note. Almost fell off that curb right there. I had to catch my balance, but um, it's got a nice little exhaust for a four cylinder, I guess. Oh, uh, let's turn on the headlights so we can take a look at those. I mean, it's a it's a little four cylinder. I'm gonna tell y'all something I don't like about it in a minute. As soon as we get in here too, I'm gonna show y'all because it's 2019, and I feel like that's unacceptable at this point. How do you turn on the headlights? I thought I'd turn. It's 2019 and it's unacceptable for what they what they got in there so let me just show y'all in a second okay i got the lights on now all right so this right here in 2019 halogen bulbs should just be gone led should just be standard that's 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 one dislike that i don't like at all i don't care even if it is 
a cheaper model or whatever it is. The halogen light bulbs just need to be gone altogether. So as you can see, no LEDs or anything, just halogen bulbs. Those gotta be gone, it's 2019. Here's your four cylinder 2.3 liter Eco Boost putting out 270 horsepower. It does have like a little winding tick as you can hear. It is an M line as you can see. Very nice spaces underneath there. Very beautiful too. They could have stuck a V8 under there. <laughs> if this thing had a V8, this thing would fly, but. We in the day and age where everything trying to be fuel efficient and turbo boosting and supercharging and everything. So it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get in here real quick. We'll talk about the door. So you got the hard plastic right here. You got the soft material right here, which is like a cloth or something like that. Soft touch right here is padded, just a little bit, not overly soft or anything. Plastics down here and everything. You got your bottle holder with some storage as well. Automatic driver side window up and down Passenger side you got to hold it same thing with all the other windows. So let's go ahead and get in here So as we sit in here now what I didn't like let me turn the lights back to auto So what I didn't like right out the gate when I started up You have a key to start it up. I thought the key was just on there just because you know it should have push button start every every 2019 has to have push button start like that's that's mandatory now just like the headlights should be mandatory for leds anything less than leds and push button start it just feels old at that point that's just my opinion so you do got power windows right here i mean not power <laughs> power mirrors <laughs> so you just hit that button and when it goes in it actually stays in so as you can see it's pushed in and you push it out, it opens the windows to back up. So right here you got your vents, nice vents. They are, uh, they feel very good. They don't feel cheap or anything like that. Dashboard is hard plastic. It's a lot of plastics in this vehicle. I mean, this is a cheaper uh, pickup truck, but then again, if they would have just made this more, put more luxury into it, it would have been great. <laughs> I mean, but all of the little pickup trucks like this, the, the mid-size pickup trucks, all of them kind of use the same materials as well. I did a Tacoma review um, a few months back. I'm going to put that one at the end of this video um, as a link that you can click on and check it out. It's, it's pretty much the same interior as far as, not, not the same interior because it's two different companies, but as far as materials that they use, you'll see. I actually like this inside better than the Tacoma, but... I'm pretty sure the Tacoma is going to hold its value a lot better than this as well. I, it's just something with Toyota. I mean, y'all heard me say this plenty of times. Toyota, I don't know. Toyota, it's like an Apple thing, like how iPhones hold their value for a while too. It's like the same thing with Toyota vehicles as well too. But here on the steering wheel, well, let's talk about the gauge cluster. So you got two analogs on the side, then you have the little digital screen right there in the middle. You can change that little message right there in the center. You can change it to your fuel distance, your trip, average fuel, top speed, or speed. And then you got your trips, fuel economy, driver assist, truck information, settings, and all of that good stuff. Then right here, you got your cruise control buttons right here, phone buttons right here. And then you can also hit home on the uh, radio right there with the home. And then you get into some settings as well, too, just by clicking the settings button right there which is right there and it takes you back right there so you see it's at home and I'm just gonna click that button and it goes to settings bam just like that volume controls so let's get into this right here I didn't see um, anything on the outside that said Apple CarPlay or Android Auto as well but I'm, I know Ford has it because I've seen it in plenty of their other vehicles where they have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but you do have Wi-Fi 4G Wi-Fi in here as well. I believe that's through uh, AT&T. Um, valet mode, automatic updates to update the system. The system is very responsive and quick. You got voice control, your display. You can dim it and do all of that other good stuff to it. I mean, it's pretty. It's a pretty basic system. This Ford Pass Connect, that's your Wi-Fi system right there. So, Bluetooth phone general settings 911 assist mobile apps which you will have to enable and download some and do all of that other good stuff so right here you don't you do have a dual climate control is you know 
physical buttons for it right here as you can see and it shows up on the screen right here i was looking for like a screen that's why I, normally you see a screen when it's dual climbing or something like that you also got heated seats these are cloth seats by the way too uh it was just saying that the fuel level was low these are cloth seats but they are heated as well too the seats are not um bad at all they're very comfortable and then right here you have uh two 12 volt chargers right here down here and they actually look like little gauges or something at first and then you just flip them up they just look like you know like they should be some sort of gauges but they're not they're 12 volt chargers two usbs down there with a little storage cubby uh nothing else is down there you got the heated seats like i said then you got your dual climate control right here let's turn on that heat man it's cold outside and it's only getting colder man it's crazy chicago weather is just you think it started heating up after a while but nah it's just getting colder next week's supposed to be in the teens <laughs> right here you got your stuff for your hill decline your trailer your um parking assist your parking aids or your sensors all of that stuff right there you can turn all of them off and then you got the auto stop auto start which chevy needs to take note of that because they they have a system where you can't turn it off at all so you can turn it off in here you got your um differential lock right there your traction you got your four wheel low four wheel high two wheel high and then you got your terrain modes which is that tm right there so that tm pops up it pops up right there so then you got normal <laughs> let's see how do you switch that so then you got gravel and snow then you have mud and ruts and then you have sand so th let me get this message off that's what's throwing me off right there that message so we're just gonna put it back on uh normal and there you go so it, it, it automatically changes what gear is in too depending on which mode you put it in so you don't even have to touch this at all it automatically does it when i was changing it it was doing it so then you have uh if you want to do the manual shift ability thing plus or minus right there just leave it alone and let the car shift to its own gears cup holders right there glove box right there got your license plate bracket with the book it's nice and spacious in there because you got to think this is coming out to go on the front of the car if you're in a state that needs a license plate in the front so there you have it right here you got your center console it's not that spacious at all it's actually little and then you got a cubby hole down there no sunroof in this model as well got your glasses holder um vanity lighting right there and right here you got your um vanity mirror no light <laughs> that's another dislike so so far we're up to three dislikes about it well four actually because all this plastic and stuff i'm plastic it just after a while it start creaking and making noise see no no mirror over there no light over there either it just it just starts creaking and stuff after a while that, I, that's why i don't like plastic like that especially in a newer car you paying what is this 40 grand yeah 40 grand man you gotta have um you gotta start up and up the interior a little bit let's get in the back seat running boards you really don't need them i'm not that tall and um i have no problem getting in and out so right here same materials on this back door that's used on the front door as well we're gonna go ahead and get in it so this is another dislike too now this seat is all the way back let me let me remind you this seat is all the way back I still got good leg room right here too. I'm only five seven five eight. Check the head room for y'all real quick. Set the key down. Head room is great. Bam, just like that. So this is just dislike number four. No rear vents back here at all. So that goes back to my point. When it's summertime, your passengers gonna burn up. <laughs> they 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 done with. Cause you gonna be sitting there blocking up all the AC even in the winter time like it is right now now it was warm when i was up there now that i'm back here it's freezing back here still i mean that's just, that's just the nature of the beast <laughs> um th th that should be mandatory back here in all cars all newer cars have to have that i feel anything that's 2015 and newer had to, they should have made that mandatory they should have had rear vents for every car no matter what it is unless you got like a mustang or a camaro something that really doesn't even have a back seat but trucks and stuff like that you gotta have a, a rear vent and everything usbs back here 150 watt which is the wall charger we call that you got storage on the back of the seat now this window right here 
it is manually opening so you got to slide it manually i'm not going to do all of that because it's a it's a mechanism on it and i'm not trying to break nothing i don't have forty thousand dollars so we're going to go ahead and leave that just like it is these seats are very comfortable back here too and then right here in the center i thought that would open but i guess not nope it does open it feels like it's something in there but it just doesn't want to open for me I guess not but you can't let these seats down as well there you, there you have it man i'm not gonna do all that break something but there you guys have it very nice this is just a lot more room in the back seat than i, I would have thought originally but um leds back here see that's weird they give you led tail lights but not led headlights that's weird but, um, yeah, man, just like that, this video is over. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm gone.